First the husband and then the wife. Double gold glory in the track cycling for a British couple on Paralympics GB's most successful day of Tokyo 2020 so far. It was quite a while before we actually managed to come together and, and hug each other because you kind of been shepherded around different parts of the velodrome for ceremonies, for anti-doping and things. But that moment we finally got to hug and, and Laura burst into tears, which made me cry a little bit, I have to admit. I never cry, by the way, so... The team's third win of the day in the Izu Velodrome came in the last track event of the Games after a dramatic final lap in the mixed team sprint. I even kind of gave it a really big lunge at the end because I knew it was going to be close. Um, so when I came round and saw that we got a number one next to our name and the world record as well, it was like, wow, we've, we've pulled something out of the bag there. For Mickey Yule, bronze in the powerlifting comes 11 years after he lost both legs serving in Afghanistan. Inspired by the sporting successes he witnessed at London 2012. I found great sort of encouragement. I could still be a sportsman. I could still push myself. I could still maybe prove people wrong and get back to the guy I used to be. And I'm definitely a legacy from London. In the pool, Maisie Summers Newton swam to victory in the 100 metres breaststroke making her a double Paralympic champion at the age of just 19. And there was a win too in the mixed 4 by 100 metre freestyle. The athletics track also brought glory for British sprinters Sophie Hahn and Thomas Young. The latest successes put Paralympics GB second overall behind China, with the prospect of many more medals to come. Emma Birchley, Sky News.